What's going on, everyone? This is Ricardo Suber, and I know it's been a long time since I've recorded a video, um, but I just wanted to say, first off, wanted to say hello. I am now back living in the Bay Area. It's been quite a bit of time. Um, and for those of you guys, first off, who don't know me, my name is Ricardo Suber. I am an entrepreneur, consultant um, in the tech space as well. Um, I'm also a licensed realtor in the state of Florida and also soon to be California. And I've been all over the map. And I felt like doing a video today because I wanted to share some tips in terms of traveling. And um, over the past, especially in the past two years, I've done quite a bit of traveling, both domestically here in the United States and then also around the world. And I wanted to give you all some travel tips because especially since it's summertime, being originally from Boston, um, I understand how important the summer is, especially if you live in a climate where you really only get to experience warm weather about half the year, if that. Um, but even now being in California and um, previously being in Florida and then before that being in California, I still love to vacation. I still love to hit the skies and love to stay at great spots. So definitely stay to the end of this because I'm gonna break down some tips. And so um, lately I've been to Mexico, um, I've been to Colombia, Dominican Republic, I had to make a list, Boston, Maine, North Carolina, DC, LA. I'm actually just came back from LA yesterday and now back here in the Bay Area. And in just about all of those places, I've stayed at hotels. And so my first tip for everybody out there is you want to be loyal to one particular hotel brand. And it can be whatever brand that you like. Um, and I could tell you with me personally, I just happened to choose Marriott. I chose Marriott for several reasons. Um, number one, um, they got me with the welcome gift. They have a welcome gift where you get three free award nights after you spend $3,000 in the first three months of having the Marriott Bonvoy credit card. So that got me. I was like, oh man, this is perfect. And um, I got a pretty good APR on the card as well. Um, but that being said, still my goal is to pay it off every month. But that's how Marriott got me. And then all the the other thing is Marriott is all over the world. We all know what Marriott is. Um, lots of room options, lots of perks. They have an all around pretty good reputation. So, you know, I'm loyal to Marriott, but whoever you're loyal to, whether that be IHG, Caesars, maybe you travel to Vegas a lot, whatever it is, make sure you're loyal to one brand because what happens is you start to um, build up loyalty and then they start to reward that loyalty. And one phrase that I hear all the time, I just heard it the other day when I stayed at a hotel room in LA was, hey, listen. Mr. Suber, thank you so much for your loyalty. It's, it's always a good feeling when you get that and then they show it. You know, a lot of times they give you free check-in with um, free early check-in when available, um, free late checkout um, up until 2 p.m. when available, um, free complimentary upgrades when available. Um, so you get a lot of these perks. Sometimes you get welcome gifts and it's just nice to be treated well. You know what I mean? It's nice to like walk into a place and it's like they're waiting for you. So that was one of the reasons why I chose Marriott, but whoever you choose, just stack up that loyalty, stay with them often, particularly if you travel often, try to find, um, try to find a way to book with one particular brand, book on your rewards account, and they will reward you for it, or at least they should, all right? So I'm gonna show y'all what I got, all right? My, one of my favorite tools in my wallet is this Marriott Bonvoy credit card. I don't have my number showing, but my Marriott Bonvoy credit card. And I love this card. Um, and, and basically Marriott gives you three main choices of credit cards. I see it right here on my screen. You have um, the Marriott Bonvoy Bountiful card. You have the Bold card and you have the Boundless card. I got Boundless. Boundless is their top of the line card, 
For those of you guys who are curious, you need at least a 690 credit score, okay? And um, I've been using credit restoration and credit repair. Um, I will tell you guys very transparently that my credit score was in the low 500s a few years ago. And thanks to credit repair, I've been able to get it um, well over 700. So I'm very, very grateful of that particular service. If you guys want to know what services I recommend, simply hit me in my inbox and I'll break that down to you. But credit restoration is awesome. You just have to make sure you get a good company. So let me know if you want a recommendation. So I got the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless card. It does come with a $95 annual fee. However, it's well worth it because again, if you use the card correctly, it's going to more than pay for itself over time, especially if you travel. Um, there have been quite a few times, including yesterday, where I got a free night at a hotel. You can get multiple free nights, and it's amazing. All right. So that being said, I am going to share a link in this description to go ahead and get the card. Um, very transparently, I do get reward points for everybody who clicks on that link. But then also, you will have the ability to get three free nights if you just spend $3,000 in your first three months on that card. So. That being said, here's how you get perks. Now, here's where I give you guys the low down and dirty tips, all right? Number one, um, again, you wanna apply for the card. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Number two, what you wanna do is you wanna use it for big purchases. So what I did, I actually knocked out that $3,000 probably in a week. The way I was able to do that was at the time I was living in Florida, I was renting an apartment, and my community allowed me to pay the rent on a credit card. And I'm not here to tell you guys to rack up a bunch of interest. In fact, I strongly suggest paying off the full balance every single month so you're not incurring interest on that card, okay? So use it for big purchases such as your rent, um, utility bills, big car purchases, and especially gas because you can actually get um, a multiple of points just for using it at restaurants, gas stations, grocery stores, etc. So use it for big purchases. And hey, if you happen to know somebody who needs a hotel or is booking somewhere, if it's a friend or a family member, if they're going with you, maybe you're going with a group, offer to actually have them pay you and then you book the hotel because again, that'll push you even further in terms of your spend and the amount of points that you get, okay? So always try to find an excuse to have people put hotels in your name. It's helped me tremendously, all right? So, but definitely look to spend on that card, but aim to pay it off every month. Don't get into the habit of getting into trouble, which I did several years ago, where you start to lose track of your spend, and then you turn around, and you're like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna pay this bill, okay? So be very, very responsible. Um, another tip, of course, before applying for the card, make sure you know your credit score. Um, again, the minimal that they look for is about a 690. Um, so know your credit score. You can go to free, um, is it free annual or annualcreditreport.com. You can get your score absolutely free every year. And that is through the federal government. So they should never charge you. So it's annualcreditreport.com. Um, know your credit score. Um, and use it to pay your rent or your mortgage if possible. That is the fastest way to um, earn points. And make sure you do it responsibly. Sometimes they charge you a fee. Sometimes it's worth it. Because if it's a bill that you're going to pay anyway, might as well get points on it. All right. And then pay it off every month to avoid interest. And even aside from the card, the thing is, one of my favorite phrases, one of my favorite quotes is, you never know until you ask. So before you stay at a hotel, make sure you call ahead and ask. Say, hey, my flight's getting in early tomorrow or early next week or whatever. Can I request an early check-in? Can you at least put it down on my preferences? Most times they're gonna say, well, sir, it, it, it depends on availability, all right? So that's fine, but just make sure they, they write it down. You're gonna have a much higher chance of scoring an early check-in, for instance. When you arrive, Always request 
a complimentary upgrade. Just say, you know, I'm, I'm here and give them the reason why you're in town. Whether you're there for a convention, somebody's birthday, your birthday, an anniversary. Request that complimentary upgrade. It drastically increases the chances of them giving it to you. And then also, like I said earlier, you can request a late checkout. And when you have this card, all right, they usually give you these perks even without you asking for them, okay? Um, a lot of times these cards come with complimentary internet. A lot of the hotels give you complimentary internet anyway, um, but they can give you complimentary internet, complimentary breakfast at locations where they don't normally give you free breakfast and so many other things. So loyalty is rewarded. So make sure that whatever chain you go through, of course, I love Marriott, but make sure that you are loyal and when you travel, make sure you utilize that particular brand, all right? So all that being said, that's the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless card that I recommend. I'm gonna put the link in the description here. And um, hello once again from beautiful Northern Bay Area, California. I hope you guys have a great remainder of the weekend. And if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, including the credit restoration service that I recommend, or the Marriott Bonvoy card, make sure you hit me up. You guys have a great day. Take care.